Hello everybody, I'm Nick and this video I want to talk to you about the five books that I think are must-haves for any software engineer. Now, a bit of a disclaimer, I don't think that these are the only books you should be worth having and in fact I'm going to have honorable mentions by the end of this video. But the pattern that you're going to see in all the books that I recommend are that they are timeless and that they are not language specific, programming language specific. Uh, this means that if you read them in five years they will still be relevant that's the one thing and the other thing is you know deep dive by john skeet is a great book on c sharp but i don't think that i would recommend this to everybody while every single book that i'm going to recommend today i highly recommend to everybody to read and you actually are going to get value that's going to stay with you for a long long time you're going to find a link in the description down below for every single book in this list now let's start with the first book which is actually cracking the coding interview by gail lackman mcdowell Jesus Christ, that's a long name. Anyway, um, this book is an amazing book. Actually, ha this book has been the latest addition in my collection of books. And um, I've been doing this pro professionally for almost six years now. And I never actually needed to read such a book for interviews. Uh, and that's because I haven't actually worked in companies like Microsoft or Amazon or any of that. That Probably that's going to help you the most. Now, the reason why I bought this is not because I'm looking for a job, but um, this book is actually very useful to a seasoned engineer because I've never thought about binary trees and graphs and bit manipulation so in depth and I do want to learn about it and by learning about it I'm actually able to apply the things I learned here in the things I'm doing in .NET Core and C Sharp and sorting and when you have to handle the throughput that we have to handle in my company for example it's actually very useful to handwrite some of those things. For example, using link in C Sharp is a great tool to have readable code and do, you know, my um, traversal over your uh, enumerables, but it's actually not very efficient. And if you handwrite things using the things I've learned from these books, you can actually end up with something significantly faster. So great book, highly recommended for anybody who's looking for a job, a graduate job or an internship in um, any of the fan companies, you know, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, or Google or Netflix and yeah I can I can strongly recommend this uh, read it you don't have to read all of it it is over 600 pages so it's huge and I actually haven't read all of it I skipped things like you know there's some C++ specific questions and sub object oriented design questions the things I knew I skipped but you will definitely find things that you don't know in this book and I think they're worth knowing so highly recommend that give it a go now, the next book in our list is Headfirst Design Patterns by Eric and Elizabeth Freeman. This book is a blast to read. Obviously, as the name implies, you're going to learn design patterns from this. So the command pattern, the singleton pattern, factory, um, I'm seeing so many observer. There's so many design patterns. And I actually recommend that over the Gang of Four, um design patterns book i think the way they wrote this book and this is described as um, the brain friendly guide i do think they nailed that reading that book would really help you understand everything about what you're reading about you know design patterns are, are those solutions to problems that we've had for years and you can apply them over and over again in different scenarios for example the factory pattern just solves the problem of being able to create a specific object in a specific way. And this is easy to understand, but when you dive deeper into, you know, things like mediator pattern, and you can have adapters, and you can have templates, and you can have so many other things. This book, the way it's written, and I'm gonna have some close-ups as well, you will really get a lot of value out of this. This is, no joke, the best programming book I've read, or software engineering book I've read, in terms of how it presents itself and how it tries to teach you the problem, to, to teach you how to solve the problem. Amazing book. Highly recommend that. Definitely over the Gang of Four one. Please, if you want to learn more about design patterns, buy it. However, do check which patterns it has because you might be already familiar with it and you might not even need it. Uh, I read this very early in my career, probably the first year. Uh, my first manager, Phil, gave it to me. I never gave it back. Anyway, thanks, Phil. Now, the next one in our list, you probably expect that. It's one of the must-haves for any engineer, hands down. It is timeless. And that is Clean Code 
by Uncle Bob. Now, obviously, you probably have read this already. If you haven't, please buy this. This is so much value in 377 pages. It's mostly written in Java. Actually, it's almost everything written in Java. But the way it illustrates the problem, it really helps you understand what you're doing wrong. And as you're reading that, when I read this again very early in my career, you know, when a junior engineer is starting, you think you're the best. And especially if you were able to sell code before your first official commercial job, um, you will understand by reading this that your code was quite bad. And um, the more you read this, and if you leave your pride aside, you will actually get so much value out of this book. You will learn how to write cleaner code and you will understand the patterns you should be able to detect to understand when something is not good code. There's a very good analogy in this book. I think it's in this book. It might be on the clean code one um, that says that just because you can appreciate art, it doesn't mean you can recreate it. For example, I can go to the Louvre and see Mona Lisa and appreciate that that's a brilliant painting, but I can't necessarily repaint it. And code is actually quite similar to that. You might be able to appreciate clean code and say, hey, that's a pretty good code, you know, and I've done that before. But when I tried to write clean code, I really struggled. After this, I didn't struggle that much. And the more I practiced after reading this, I got to a point where I'm very happy with what I write. Obviously, we're always learning. So there's always something to learn, but this will put you in the right track. Please, if you haven't read this, buy it. I don't care if you're 10 years old, 18 years old, 25 years old, or 80 years old. That's a great book. So at this point, I'm going to deviate a bit from what I've been doing until now. And that's because this wraps up all the technical books I want to recommend. And that's just clean code, design patterns head first, and cracking the coding interview. Now I'm going to go more to the personality ones. And the personality ones are equally as important. You know, soft skills and how people perceive you are actually things you really, really, really need to, to just implement on yourself and understand how you should move around, how you should talk, when you should say no, when you should say yes. There's just so many things that you have to learn. And especially if you're starting out now, I think the two books that I'm going to recommend would give you some really nice life lessons. Now, let's start with the first one. And that is um, 97 things every programmer should know by Kevin Henney. Now, something I should mention is uh, Kevin Henney didn't actually write this book. He just collected all the things that 97 people, um, I think it's 97 people, it might be people having duplicates here as well, uh, but it's a bunch of experts in their fields um, talking about it. Everything is a two-pager, so everything looks like this, and um, you have a short story that will teach you something. And every single one of them is actually worth it. You know, know your ID. This is a great topic um, and a great teaching. It won't necessarily make you a better programmer in terms of your code, but it will definitely make you a better programmer in terms of how you move around your soft skills and how you perceive things. Uh, something else I should mention is my first mentor gave this to me. I didn't actually buy this. Um, Ali, Ali, thank you. This has been a huge thing for me and had huge impact. So thanks. Something else I should mention is uh, Kevin Henney is actually my favorite speaker, a uh, technical speaker of all time. Um, great, great humor, really, really entertaining to watch. If you haven't watched any of his talks, I highly recommend the less is more talk that he has in the go to conferences. Highly recommend that. And now last but not least, you probably expected that it's clean coder the clean coder by uncle bob again this book alongside the clean code by the way is actually heavily opinionated and whether you agree with uncle bob or not is completely up to you you don't have when you read a book you don't have to actually agree with everything now you can understand what this book is really about just from the preface for those of you who don't know uh, this is the challenger space shuttle exploding uh, because of an engineering issues where engineers warned management that they shouldn't launch because of the cold weather and um, management just went ahead because the space shuttle delayed for such a long time and this caused the crew on board to die um, and was really preventable now you probably will never have to work in something that will kill somebody 
but the teaching of listen to the engineer when they have to say something is what you need to fight for. If you know something is wrong, this book will teach you to say it. And this is just a small thing. There's so many good teachings out of this and Uncle Bob is a person with such a huge career that there is something for everybody. So there is no question that The Clean Coder is actually a great book. Now, a few honorable mentions. Obviously, Clean Architecture is the other book that uh, Uncle Bob has written. It's an alright book. I don't think I feel comfortable recommending it, but if you want to read it, it won't harm you. It's, a, it's still a good book. I just think that it might be obsolete in a, in a while. The next one is uh, Design Partners by The Gang of Four. Old book, a timeless, brilliant book. I just think that the head first book is doing a better job teaching you those things other than just telling you those things. But again, that's my personal opinion. And last but not least, you might have expected this one to be in the list, is The Pragmatic Programmer. Again, great book along the lines of Clean Code and Clean Coder. Um, I don't think that I want to put it in the top five books I would recommend, but it's definitely the top ten. So if you want to read that, again, great book. That's all I have for you for today. Thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to my GitHub sponsors for making these videos possible. If you want to support me as well, you're going to find the link in the description down below. Leave a like if you like this video, subscribe for more content like this, ring the bell as well to get notified when I upload a new episode, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep coding!